Hey there, I'm John. And welcome to Modded Wheez and You, your one-stop shop for all things homebrew on your newly acquired, completely legal, modded Nintendo Wii. Today we'll be installing and setting up Multimod Manager, a homebrew application that'll allow you to manage wads on your Nintendo Wii. Now, wads can come in the form of either channel forwarders for other homebrew applications or eShop content. So without any further introduction, let's move on to the installation. First, head on over to the link in the description to get yourself a copy of Multimod Manager. Once downloaded, go ahead and extract the contents of the archive to your desktop. Then copy the extracted MMM folder to your SD cards app folder. And be sure to move the Multimod Manager config text document to the root of the SD card. For this example, we'll install the channel forwarder for USB Loader GX so that we can access it from the Wii's home menu. However, the process is the same for any Wii WAD file. From the USB Loader GitHub page, you should be able to download the forwarder for the Wii or the Wii U's virtual Wii. Once downloaded, create a new folder titled WADs on the root of your SD card and copy your newly downloaded forwarder to it. At which point, you can eject your SD card and head over to your Wii to launch the homebrew channel. Then load Multimod Manager. However, before continuing, it's important to note that we will be installing these wads directly to your system's NAND. Which does come with some risks, as in the event that you fail to install a wad properly, you could potentially brick your system. Because of that, it's highly recommended that you have a backup of your system's NAND and have preloader installed beforehand. Just in case you have an event where your wad installation goes tits up, resulting in the creation of a lovely paperweight. All channel forwarders will need to be installed to your system NAND in order to work properly. If you want to install WiiWare or Virtual Console titles, there is a safer method we'll go over later in the tutorial. Now with that out of the way, Multimon Manager will only work if you have CIOS installed. If you need to set up CIOS, we have a tutorial on how to do that here. If you already have it set up, verify that iOS 249 is loaded. If not, load it before attempting to install any WADs. Then head up to the WAD Manager option and navigate to your SD card's WAD folder. From there, select the WAD you wish to install and press the A button twice to begin the installation. Once finished, you connect in Multimod Manager, and at which point you should see your new USB Loader GX channel. You can now use this forwarder to directly load into USB Loader without needing to go through the homebrew channel. The USB Loader also has a method to install WAD files in a less risky manner. Although channel forwarders and some WiiWare titles won't work correctly, so for those you'll need to use Multimod Manager. Now you may ask, how is installing WADs with USB Loader a less risky method? Well, USB Loader uses an emulated copy of your system's NAND to install and play the WADs from, which can be saved on either a flash drive or an SD card, resulting in it being a safer method as it doesn't directly install anything to your system. To set up an EmuNAN, go into Settings within USB Loader and open the Custom Paths option. Here we'll change the location of the EmuNAND from our SD card to our flash drive. You'll want to select the path for EmuNAND channels, then click on the USB 1 button to switch to the USB directory. Next, click on the folder icon at the top to create a new directory and type in EmuNAN channel folder. When prompted to create the directory, click OK, then click OK again to set this as the custom path. Next, head over to the loader settings and make sure that the EmuNAN channel mode is set to full. Now, we'll need to create our EmuNAND. To do this, head over to Features and select the option Dump NAND to EmuNAND. From here, you'll want to choose Everything and then select Channel Path. At which point, USB Loader will extract the contents of your NAND and turn it into an emulator for WAD files which will be saved to your USB flash drive. Once your NAND is finished copying, you can start installing your WADs by entering the EmuNAND WAD Manager. If you want to install multiple WADs at once, you can select the Folder option. Otherwise, choose File if you only want to install specific WADs. Then choose your WAD file and click OK, where your WAD will then be installed to your EmuNAND. These installs will only be viewable within USB Letter GX. If you want them to be on the Wii's home menu, then you'll need to install them using Multimod Manager instead. To show the EmuNAND titles in USB Letter, click on the Title Sources icon and uncheck NAND Channels, then select EmuNAND Channels, as leaving NAND Channels selected will leave duplicates on your title list. Congratulations, as you have now successfully learned two methods to install WADs onto your modded Wii. So if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and comment down below any homebrew applications you'd like to see covered. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any new videos from the network. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.